Hey guys, welcome back to Dragon Coop, and today we're playing Relapse. Okay, it looks like it jumped us in here, so let's find out what it's all about. I imagine not if you had any idea of what's going on, you would have given up forever ago. What? Unless it turns out you do remember, but you have become a glutton or for pain. Okay. Sure. Why not? It is so lonely in here. Just you and me. Me who? Ow. Really? Okay. Well, it looks like you figured out your capabilities pretty quickly. Your unique ability to relapse. Your unique ability to avoid the cold grasp of death. Ooh, I'm so scared. Hmm. Impervious to death. It is almost humorous in a strange sort of way. Ooh. I got a triangle. I turned a triangle to red. Look at all those corpses I had. I'm not surprised to see that blank expression on your face. I might as well inform you now. The only thing at the end of this is me. Okay. Is that what you want? To come and see me? Well, sure. Hilarious. This certainly is not the first time this has happened. What a sick sense of humor life has. Letting us deal with this. Heh. <laughs> How sad. Okay. Walking, walking. Do you want to die permanently? Is that why you're looking for me? Or is it because you would like to try to negotiate with me? I wish I knew why you keep coming back. Hmm. I hate this. Without your memories, you just keep coming back. Never learning. Never listening. I guess I should move on from my frustration. Things still have a chance to change. Look at this small innocent creature following your guidance. Well, prove to me that thing can change. Come on! Wee, wee, wee! You bitch! Come on! Wee! So you decided to spare that small being? Interesting. You did not have empathy like this in the past. Hmm. Uh-oh. I might as well go ahead and explain to you what happened here. It was not always like this. This place used to be such a vibrant kingdom. You could call this a stereotypical fairy tale world. But the truth is, 
That's not... That's got its beauty through murder and dis deceit. Though, <clears throat> that is a story for another time. <laughs> In those days, the two of us knew each other well. I do not remember the specifics to it. You could say we were close, but we both had differing views of the world. You believed that the world was designed to be controlled. Who could blame you? Without order of the world, we could be flung into chaos. I believe that the world should be lawless. Who could blame me? A world too controlled begins to stagnate and die. However, our views eventually sparked a war in the efforts to change for one way or the other. Without empathy, neither of us cared for the people we destroyed in combat. So many innocent lives lost at both of our hands. Then there was nothing. A void of corpses. Our powers had decimated all of those in the middle, leaving almost nothing. You are halfway there. Soon we will meet, and we will see what happens from there. <laughs> Ow. Booker. 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 Speaking of progression, I have always wondered, why do you keep trying? What has given you the will to live? Because I want to give you a hug. Oh, I did not realize that S Sigil survived the war. I thought he did, but did it? But <laughs> it would seem he lives on. This is problematic. Do you not remember? Do you? You don't. <laughs> you don't remember, do you? You destroyed his family. He will most definitely be out for your blood. So try not to die too much. Relapsing too many times may result in unsavory consequences, which would result in more pain for both of us. What? Okay, what the hell? Okay, what the hell? Okay, what the hell? Ah! Ah! Okay. Oh, okay. I can do this. I can. Oh God. Okay. God damn it! Oh damn it! I can do this. Okay. Chip, motherfucker. Ah! Yay! Hello? It has begun. <laughs> it has been a while. How are you doing? What matter is it anyway? I'll have to kill you. I might as well not be. not build another friendship with you. We will meet soon. By that I mean I will kill you when I have the opportunity. <laughs> I just wish I knew why you did this. Why you had to tear everything apart. You are going to burn in hell, Argus. See you soon. So, how about we have some fun? Here's how this will work. When you have an open space above, you will above you I will jump down if you do not move I will not kill you but that sounds good to you but does that sound good to you fuck Uh, 
I remember back then when the three of us used to stick together. You, me, and Bulk. Bilk. Ow, bitch. In my way, dude. Okay, really? You're right in my way. Get out of my way. Seriously, you're in my way. We used to be so happy, friends just having good times before the war, before my disfigurement, before Bil Bilk died. Who's Bilk? This guy is weird. Ow, bitch. Ow! Fucker. Okay, and BOW! Jump! What happened between you two? What made you two destroy everyone? Why did you have to make me hate you? Damn it! Sigil is really spiteful today. Too bad that is not as funny as it used to be. I remember when he got angry back. <laughs> then we would call him salty. And then we would all laugh at it. <clears throat> laugh it off. Even worse, he has no idea that I am not dead. <clears throat> if he knew the truth, he would not be happy. You two are coming up upon the execution chamber. There's a large weapon capable of destroying Sigil in there. Fortunately, you are short enough to avoid the beam. This room sounds strange. Just what exactly do you have planned? Betrayal! Finally, Sigil is dead. <laughs> I'm going to miss him. He was not a bad man. He did not deserve what happened to him. But it did had to be done. We are truly alone. You're not far from me now. Once we meet up. I will not take revenge for all of the souls taken in the war. Liar! There's no end for you. Accept it. Once we meet, I will kill you. But that will not be enough. You will not die. We will fight forever. So I have a compromise plan. Because you have found some form of empathy, I will spare you. Then you can come to me, and we can use our power to leave. Rough times ahead. I hope you're ready. Just as ready as you were the many other times you have come here. Ah! Can you feel it? 
anticipation soon soon it will all end oh ah! really ah! no <laughs> Ow! Okay. Good God! If things go according to my compromise plan, we will be escape this hell. Ow! Ah! Uh, it's so loud! Okay. Okay, goddamn. To think that after so long, this nightmare will finally end. Victory is within our grasp, Argus. Soon, there will be no more suffering. There is something I have not told you about through the next door. There lies the last room between us. Inside, you will find something interesting. I suppose another thing I could explain is my warning from earlier. The reason I wanted you to avoid relapsing so much is because the people I have slain in the past are not truly dead. They are in the, this hell as much as we are. The reason I have not seen them is because I have hid their form deep within the folds of this realm. However, if you were to relapse too much, their pain would grow large enough to allow them to wake up. From there, they would chase you down torture you through the relapse ability, you would simply render that useless, and you would be sent back in time. The pain I was talking about was not the agony you would, you would endure. I was talking about the prospect of having to repeat this all over again. Now, immortality causes me to persist this through time, which means that I have to sing you and Sigil die so many times. I have experimented this through timeline so much, I have flat out telling you the truth. I have tried convincing Sigil that it was my fault. I have so many different things just to see what would happen. Each time you made a massive relapse, I felt more and more pain. The agony is too much for me now. I have decided to spare you, no matter how many times I've killed you. Just so much came back stronger. Oh, it looks like you have made it past the gauntlet. There are no more challenges after this, so do not concern yourself. I do not trust you. Cannot wait until we get to tell Sigil about this. He is not going to believe us. Then we can all go back to have dinner with his family. Man, to be honest, I never thought this would be this would end. But really, is it over? I probably look familiar to you. That corpse you saw earlier in your journey was in fact mine. Through my immortality has brought me back. That is a matter of now. Time to go back and fix this. Welcome home! Alright, and that was Relapse. That was a pretty cool game. That was very, uh, very simplistic.
It had a, uh, it had a pretty solid story. The end. I, I like that. I like that a lot. But thank you for watching this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you like this video, go ahead and uh, hit that like button. Tell your friends and family. And always remember to grab life by the wings and breathe the fire.